Okay, you're almost there. You're gonna make your script executable and then you're going to run it. So just type this. Schmod755. Schmod755. And then the name of your script. Second script.sh. And press enter. Now hit the up arrow and type or type ls minus l again. And now you'll see the permissions on our file have changed. So before it was read write, read read, and now it's read write execute, read execute, read execute. This might seem kind of weird, but basically now that now that this has the executable permission on it, you can just type the name of your script and it will run. So what did that schmod command actually do? It changed the mode. That's what the command stands for. Change mode. And then we gave it this number and these numbers actually relate to what these letters turn out to be. So most, li most Linux users will be able to actually look at this number and see what the permissions are just based on this number. And maybe you'll get to that point too, but you don't have to know that for right now. Just remember that this is the command you'll want to run for any, sh any shell script you make. schmod755 and then your script name. So here's a summary of basically what you need to do to create any script. Now, let me reset. You need to type vim your script.sh, type i for insert mode, write some code, escape key, colon, wq, you can actually combine those two, write and quit at the same time, and then schmod755 your script. So that's what you need to do in order to make your shell script executable and ready to go. So in the next lecture I'm going to give you a quick overview of Linux file permissions so you can actually understand why or how this number re relates to the file permissions. And then after that you'll finally get to run your script.